Hello everyone, this is Richa Handa and welcome to my channel Techthemi Gyan. Uh, today we will discuss in the tutorial about the topic Open and Save Dialog Controls in DB.NET. Uh, so let's start the topic. Uh, here I have created a form with the rich text, dialog, rich text box and open dialog control. Uh, for that I have created the two buttons for open and save. And uh, to work uh, with the open and save dialog control, I have used uh, the dialogs from the toolbox. The two dialogs will be used, open file dialog and the save file dialog. These dialogs will appear here. And uh, the name of the dialog boxes are open file dialog 1 and the save file dialog 1. Uh, so when we click on the open button, then the open file dialog uh, box should be open. And when we select any file to open, then it will appear in this rich text box. And when we have write something in this rich text box and save it, then the save dialog box will be appear and I can save the content that I have in uh, right here. So let's start uh, with the open file dialog control. I will click on that button. Uh, then the these code I have already written for you. Uh, the open file dialog one dot initial directory equals to C drive, and this code represents that when we create open the uh, the open file dialog control, uh, then the default directory should be C drive. You can change it as per your requirement. And the open file dialog one dot filter that means uh, which type of files we want to open in our text box. Uh, so I have used text files that is star dot txt. That means the extension of the file should be txt and the name of the file will be any one. And all files that represent the file of the any name star represent anything and dot after dot the star represent the extension of the file. So star dot star means any file name with the any extension. And then I have used open file dialog one dot filter index equals to two. That means two index are used here. And open file dialog one dot restore directory equals to two. That means again when we restart my program, then again the initial directory should be C drive. And I have write the code here for if open file dialog one dot show dialog equals to windows dot phone show dialog okay. That means when the open file dialog one will be open and I have chosen a file and then press the open OK button, uh, then the content of that file should be displayed on this rich text box. So I have write the code rich text box one dot text equals to my dot computer. The file system dot read all text in the bracket open file dialog one dot file name. That means uh, this line represents the open file dialog one dot file name. That means the file name I have chosen from the open file dialog control, and it read all the contents of the file from my computer and display in the rich text box one. Uh, so let's check it is working properly or not. So I start debugging the program. And uh, when I start debugging the program, I have pressed the open button that will appear here. Then I press the open button, then the open file dialog one will be appear here. And the initial directory is C drive here. Suppose my file is in the my document, then I can change it. And uh, suppose my file of the text file should be hello. I want to open. It will represent. It will open only the txt file because this text box supports only the text file format. And uh, here is the formula, the filter index that I have used in my files, text files, and the all files. So, okay, I have select the file name hello and press on the open button. Then you can see here the contents of the file is displayed here. Hello and good morning to all of you. Welcome to my channel, Techphone Gyan. Uh, the same coding, uh, same coding or same coding, the same, similar types of coding I can use in for the save dialog control. For that I have used the save file dialog one. So let's start the coding. I click on the save file dialog one, that is the button to click even and the coding is here. Save file dialog one dot filter because again we have to filter because I have to save the file in a particular format. So I have used the same filter even that I have used here text file and the all files and write the code if save file dialog one dot show dialog equals to windows dot home dot dialog dot okay that means when the save file dialog one will appear here and uh, we uh, give the name of the file and press the okay button then my dot computer dot file system dot write all text to of save file dialog one dot file name to this text box one dot text and true that means uh, the name of the file that I have given to save file dialog control will be 
um, then I write all the text to the rich text box, the rich text box one to my computer. That means the contents of the rich text box with the name I have given in a save by dialog one should be stored in my computer. So let's check it is working properly or not. So suppose I have written here hello to all of you. A very good morning. Myself, Richard Khan. Let's save it. The save file dialog box will be appear here. My document is a default directory. And suppose I have given the name is Richard and uh, Richard 1 and it is a text file and press on the save button. Here nothing will appear here but when I close it and uh, go to the my document here, uh, go to my document file then I can see the file that I have created here will be uh, displayed that will be stored in uh, my computer. So let's check in a my document I have write a file uh, name Richa1. Here is a Richa1. And hello to all of you. Very good morning. And myself, Richa Handa, it is right here. So you can see here uh, the save, uh, how the open and uh, save file dialog one will be work here. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching the video. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys.